Hey everyone, Tom Pounder here. Welcome back for another episode of the Family Chit Chat. Today we're continuing our series on faith. What is faith? Faith ultimately is believing what Jesus did can change me. When we have faith, we believe that Jesus can change who I am and can change the actions I have towards other people, the attitudes I have, and the way I talk and treat other people. Well, this is a perfect example today of what we're going to look at real quick in the Bible. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. In the Bible, we hear about Paul. And Paul was this really wicked man and he was putting Christians, people who believed in Jesus, away and throwing them in the jails. Well, he came to know Jesus on his way to Damascus. The light blinded him and that Jesus talked to him and he met Jesus there. And he gave his life over to Jesus. He said, I'm going to follow Christ from here on out. And he became one of the greatest missionaries of all time, just sharing to everyone about Jesus. And the problem with that is that those people who didn't want to hear about Jesus, they had Paul put in jail. That's right. He was put in jail so many different times, falsely accused of doing different things, all because he was talking about Jesus. And the sad thing about it is that still happens today when people will talk about Jesus in other countries and they will be put in jail. It's a really hard life sometimes. Well, Paul talks to us real quick in this Bible verse about what it means to forgive other people. Remember what he just said in Ephesians 4.32. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. The reality is that Paul could have sat in jail, falsely accused, and just hate on people, be angry and bitter and mean towards other people. But he didn't. He wrote this to the church of Ephesus saying, be kind to other people, be tenderhearted, forgive other people. Because the reality is, as our bottom line teaches us, the story of Jesus changes how I forgive others. God forgave us by sending Jesus to die for our sins. Because he gave us that example Paul is saying that we need to forgive other people as Jesus forgave us. Now, he's not saying die right now for other people, but he's saying forgive other people as Jesus forgave us. He didn't have to forgive us, but he chose to. So I want to encourage you that as you reflect on this passage, Ephesians 4.32, that you think about how you can forgive other people even when you feel like you've been wrongly accused in some way or another. And remember, as our memory verse for the month says, Ephesians 2.8, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourself, it is the gift of God. The gift of God is freely given to us that we can have a relationship with him, all because he chose to forgive us, and we can forgive other people this week as well. So this week I want to encourage you to forgive other people, to let the story of Jesus change who you are by the way you forgive other people this week.